Welcome to World Code updates your daily briefing on everything happening around the world. Breaking news, there's a silent and invisible danger lurking beneath the waves, one that could change millions of lives in an instant. Deep beneath the restless waters of the South China Sea lies a sleeping geological monster, the Manila Trench. This vast undersea fault stretches for over a thousand kilometers, hidden from sight but not from risk. Scientists warn that it's not a matter of if, but when, this colossal fault will awaken. When it does, it could unleash a mega earthquake and a devastating tsunami, far more powerful than anything the region has seen in living memory. This isn't the plot of a disaster movie, it's a real and present threat, quietly ticking away beneath one of the world's most densely populated and vulnerable regions. The Manila Trench is steadily building up immense tectonic stress, storing energy for centuries, energy that when released could be catastrophic. When this fault finally ruptures, the resulting earthquake and tsunami could devastate the Philippines, Taiwan, Vietnam, and southern China, regions that are home to hundreds of millions of people, many living right along the coast. A tsunami here would strike with terrifying speed, giving coastal communities almost no time to react or escape. The wall of water could arrive in minutes, overwhelming everything in its path. The trench's long silence is the most ominous sign of all. In geology, silence doesn't mean safety. It means danger is quietly building, waiting for the right moment to strike. Experts now call the Manila Trench one of the world's most significant and underestimated tsunami hazards, a threat that demands urgent attention and preparation. Tonight, we'll dive deep into the science, examine the mounting evidence, and confront the chilling question. Is anyone truly prepared for the day the giant beneath the sea finally awakens? What makes the Manila Trench so dangerous? Why do scientists and disaster experts call it one of the most volatile places on Earth? It's a deep, narrow scar in the South China Sea just west of Luzon and Mindoro, stretching for hundreds of miles beneath the waves. This trench is not just a feature on a map, it's a living, shifting boundary between massive tectonic plates. This is a subduction zone, where the South China Sea Plate dives beneath the Philippine Mobile Belt, generating the world's most powerful earthquakes. The relentless movement of these plates creates enormous pressure, storing energy over decades or even centuries. Its proximity to megacities like Manila, Taiwan's west coast, and the economic hubs of Vietnam and southern China makes it uniquely threatening. These cities are home to tens of millions, their economies and infrastructures vulnerable to sudden disaster. At over 17,000 feet deep, the trench is a product of immense geological forces. The darkness and pressure at these depths are almost unimaginable, a testament to the power at work beneath the surface. The plates here don't slide smoothly, they lock sometimes for centuries, building up catastrophic stress. When this stress is finally released, the results can be devastating, unleashing energy equivalent to thousands of nuclear bombs. When the fault finally ruptures, it can trigger a magnitude 9 earthquake and a tsunami that would hit the coast in minutes. The waves can travel at jetliner speeds leaving little time for warning or escape. The combination of immense power and terrifying proximity makes the Manila Trench a true powder keg. It's a disaster waiting to happen, with the potential to affect millions in an instant. Millions live in its shadow, largely unaware of the risk. Everyday life continues, but beneath their feet, the forces of nature are quietly building toward the next catastrophe. The next rupture could reshape the region in moments, turning vibrant cities into disaster zones and altering the course of history for generations. The question isn't if, but when. Every day that passes brings us closer to the inevitable. The world must pay attention. Understanding the risks and preparing for the future is not just a local concern, it's a global responsibility. To truly grasp the scale of the threat facing this region, we must look beneath the waves, deep into the hidden world of subduction. It's here, far below the ocean's surface, that the story of immense geological power begins. In this shadowy realm, the dense South China Sea Plate is relentlessly forced under the lighter Philippine Plate. This is not a gentle process. It's a violent, grinding collision, with unimaginable forces at play, shaping the very landscape of the seafloor. In some subduction zones around the world, these plates slip past each other from time to time, releasing energy in the form of small, frequent earthquakes. These minor tremors act as a kind of pressure valve, preventing larger disasters. But in the Manila Trench, the situation is far more dangerous. Here, the plates are locked tightly together, unable to move. This means that energy is not released gradually, but instead is stored up, building for centuries. 
Imagine a giant bow being drawn back, its string pulled tighter and tighter, tension building with nowhere to go. The longer it's held, the more powerful the eventual release. When the fault finally snaps, all that pent-up energy is unleashed in an instant. The result is a mega-thrust earthquake, ground shakes violently, the seafloor lurches upward, and a massive tsunami is born, racing toward the coastlines. The longer the fault stays locked, the more catastrophic the eventual rupture will be. The pressure continues to mount, making the potential disaster even greater. Geological evidence and historical records suggest that the Manila Trench has been locked since the 1600s. For over 400 years this fault has been quietly storing energy, waiting for the moment it will be released. The silence above the ocean is deceptive, it hides the immense tension below. Like a spring wound to its limit, the energy beneath the sea is immense and ever-growing. When the fault finally breaks, the consequences will ripple across Southeast Asia. Cities, towns, and millions of lives will be affected in an instant with shockwaves felt far beyond the epicenter. This is not mere speculation, it's a scientific certainty, backed by decades of research and mounting evidence from experts around the world. The only unknown is when it will happen. The clock is ticking, but no one knows exactly when the alarm will sound. The region is living on borrowed time. Preparation is not just wise, it's essential. The world must take notice and act before it's too late. How do we know the Manila Trench is primed for disaster? Scientists study coral terraces, ancient reefs now high above sea level, lifted by past megaquakes. These terraces reveal a pattern magnitude 9 earthquakes every 300-500 years. Historical records confirm devastating quakes and tsunamis, the last major one in the 1670s. The trench has been quiet for over 350 years, longer than the average interval. GPS data shows the land is being squeezed, the fault locked tight. The lack of small quakes is a red flag, pressure is building with no release. Subtle slow-slip events deep underground may be warning signs, shifting stress toward the breaking point. All evidence points to the same conclusion. The Manila Trench is overdue for a catastrophic rupture. The clock is ticking. We've seen the devastation megathrust earthquakes and tsunamis can cause. In 2004, the Indian Ocean tsunami killed over 230,000 people. There was no warning system. In 2011, Japan's magnitude 9 quake and tsunami overwhelmed even the world's best prepared nation, causing nearly 20,000 deaths and a nuclear disaster. These events show that even advanced warning and preparation can be insufficient. The Manila Trench could unleash a disaster on the same scale but in a region far less prepared. Cities like Manila are densely populated with minimal warning time, the infrastructure is vulnerable and public awareness is low. Past disasters are not just history, they are warnings. The question is not whether it can happen but whether we are ready. The answer so far is no. The lessons are clear. Will we heed them? If the Manila Trench ruptures, the sequence will be swift and brutal. A magnitude 9 earthquake would shake the region for minutes toppling buildings and crippling infrastructure. Power and communication would fail, plunging millions into chaos. But the real terror comes from the sea, a tsunami born as the seafloor lurches upward. In deep water, the wave is small but fast, over 500 miles per hour. As it nears shore, it grows into a towering wall of water. For Manila, the first waves could arrive in just 10-20 minutes. There would be almost no time to warn or evacuate. The tsunami would surge inland, destroying everything in its path. Within hours, waves would strike Taiwan, Vietnam and southern China, crippling global economic hubs. The devastation would ripple worldwide. This scenario is not just possible, it's inevitable. The only question is when. Survival depends on time and warning. Effective tsunami defense requires detection, communication and public education. But the South China Sea lacks a unified warning system and has few dart buoys to detect tsunamis in real time. Without these, warnings rely on earthquake data alone, often too late for coastal cities. Public awareness is dangerously low. Most residents don't know that long strong shaking is their only warning. Evacuation routes are poorly marked and drills are rare. Political tensions hinder international cooperation on data sharing and warnings. The region's focus has been on typhoons, not tsunamis. This complacency is a recipe for disaster. A tsunami here would devastate global shipping and supply chains. The world is unprepared for what's coming. The threat is real, but disaster is not inevitable. We have the tools to save lives if we act now. First, invest in science. Deploy more dart buoys, seafloor sensors, and GPS stations to monitor the trench. 
Second, build a seamless international warning system. Nations must share data and issue joint alerts. Third, educate the public. Teach coastal residents that strong, long shaking means run to high ground. Don't wait for an official warning. Mark evacuation routes and hold regular drills. Rethink coastal development. Enforce strict building codes and restrict new construction in the most vulnerable areas. Preparation at the community level is the last line of defense. The blueprint is clear. The time to act is now. We can't stop the earthquake, but we can save lives. The choice is ours. The Manila Trench is not just a regional threat, it's a global one. The South China Sea is the world's economic superhighway. A mega tsunami would cripple ports, disrupt supply chains, and plunge the global economy into crisis. The financial shock waves would be felt everywhere. But beyond economics, there's a moral imperative. Millions of lives are at stake. The 2004 and 2011 tsunamis showed us the cost of unpreparedness. The Manila Trench could combine the worst of both. Immense power, striking a region unready. To ignore this risk would be an unforgivable failure. The clock is ticking. Every day pressure builds. We don't know if the rupture will come in a century or a moment. Uncertainty is not an excuse for inaction. We must fund science, build warning systems, educate the public, and cooperate internationally. The Manila Trench is a test for humanity. Will we act before the waves come crashing down?